Hi, my name is Shadow Tracy. I play for Tottenham Hotspur and I'm currently on loan at Maxfield. Hi guys, I'm Terry Bobby and today I'm here with Shiloh Tracy from Tottenham Hotspurs and currently on loan at Macus full time. Today Shiloh will be giving us an insight of his football journey to the top. So Shiloh, um, just tell us a little bit, little bit about yourself, uh, your name, where you're from and um, how your football journey started. So um, obviously my name is Shiloh Tracy. I grew up in East London, started playing football probably around the age of nine. I started playing football at Newham Rangers. Obviously my mum used to take me there every Saturdays, but it wasn't too serious. And then from the age of 11, I joined a team called Pro Star. We used to play in, I think, Echo. The Echo League, innit? Yeah, the yeah. Echo League. Okay, so you so you was a young starter then? Yeah, yeah, you was yeah. Was you ever signed at a pro club um, at a young age or did that happen in the um, last stages? I think, yeah, nine, you mm. took me to Leon Orient. That was my mm. first pro club. Obviously, it didn't go well. I think I was there for about six months. Six months? Yeah. No signing? No signing. Okay. So then I stopped going because I didn't know what was happening. And then after that, I think it was around, after year 11, one of my friends brought me to Epsley. Epsley? Yeah. Oh, so, so after after 11, you went and joined uh, yeah, yeah. Epsley as a um, college scheme? Yeah, yeah. yeah. College scheme. Okay. I was there about a year so and did, a half. Did education at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wicked. I was also playing for what is it? Essex County and Essex County. Yeah, you you brought me to Essex County and so um, that was back at secondary school, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. About year nine, and play for Newham District. Newham District. District. Okay. Just to sum up the start of things, you you started about around about eight nine. Football got serious when you probably joined when you started secondary school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you played district football, you played school football, you played local Sunday league football. You also played county football as well. Had a trial at Leighton Orient yeah. in the young days. Yeah. I was there for around about six months. Never got never got signed. No. How did that make you feel? To be fair, it put me down a bit. Mm. I weren't really keen on football after that. So then I had a break. You stopped a bit? Yeah, I stopped a bit. And then, <laughs> and then everyone started asking me questions like, why am I stopping? I was just like, okay. didn't really like it anymore. Um, what age did you re, re, re jump back into football? That was about, I'll say, 17. 17? Yeah, okay. 17, 16. Oh, wow. That's when I went to Ebsley. So we, st we started you at Ebsley, you've done really well. You was playing first team uh, as a first year uh, scholar. Yeah. Um, you had a great run in the FA Youth Cup. Yeah. You knocked out every single one of them, didn't you? Yeah, every single one of And you had a few pro clubs having a look at quite yeah, a few pro clubs. Yeah. Uh, the, the first, the, the one that won the race sign was Tottenham Hotspurs. How did that, how did that all come about? It might have been from FA Youth Cup, but mm -hmm. Daryl knew Tottenham as well. Yeah, that was like my manager. manager at, yeah, Epsley, absolutely. Yeah. We faced Gillingham in FA Youth Cup, and uh, quite a few clubs was there, not just Tottenham. There was West Ham, mm. Stoke, I think Ipswich, because I went on trial Ipswich as well. Yeah, yeah. Charlton, I went on trial there as well. So, and then, so, so before Tottenham signed you, you had a trial at. Ipswich and Charlton? Yeah. And what were these clubs' decisions? At Ipswich, I was there for two weeks. They took me in for two weeks. And um, I got injured with a groin injury, so. Oh, no. But they really liked me. They wanted me to come back, but I didn't go back in the end because of like my injury and stuff like that. Yeah. But then after Ipswich, I went Charlton. Yeah. I had a good, I had a debut game against Brentford. I scored two goals. Scored two goals? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Played up front. ST on the score sheet. Okay. And then, um, and then Tottenham appeared. And then Tottenham appeared? Yeah. Went there. F you have to do a trial there? Yeah. I went there for a week. They you liked out, me. You flew out with them, innit? Yeah. That was the second week. I went to Florida. Wicked. Yeah. And this was all as a trialist? Yeah, yeah. Amazing stuff. Okay. And then you done well in Florida? Yeah. Scored. I think we played four games. Scored two goals mm. and assisted a couple and then after that at the age of 17 this was like halfway through i think i was turning 18 yeah i signed for tottenham as a pro yeah as a pro wow that's a great feeling isn't it yeah it was good <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel um take us through it man yeah was, to be fair i couldn't believe it at first because it's like tottenham is a big jump yeah it's a bit nervous mm. but yeah i'm just happy Happy to play for the club. We see uh, a few snapshots of you training with the first team of Poch. 
Oh yeah. Tucking his his hand around your head, etc. Yeah. How, how was that? How was that whole feeling? Because uh, let's say three years ago, prior to that, you was at late and they said you're not good enough. Mm. And then fast forward three years later, you're training first team Premier League club. You you came from pretty much from the dust to, to right to the top. So yeah. Obviously, feelings like that will probably go through. How, how was you feeling like when you look back at that, thinking? Was you, were you thinking to yourself, I'm actually happy I didn't sign at Leighton Orient because I've got a big opportunity now? Or? At the time, I was thinking, like, wow, like, this is a big step because mm. like, when Leighton Orient didn't take me, I was a bit down, so I wasn't confident in myself. And then yeah. I carried on playing. And then like, gradually, I grew confidence in myself. And then when I was at Tottenham, when I first trained up there, I was a bit nervous because I used to watch these yeah, players yeah. on TV. Yeah. But I just grew confidence and yeah, just happy. So Shiloh, um, take us through one of your most memorable goals for uh, Tottenham Hotspurs um, during your times at the, at the 23s. Uh, who against, uh, where was that? Mm. I think one was against West Ham, it was away to West Ham. Away to West Ham, yeah? Yeah, I was playing right wing. And um, I remember I broke a line and then... Broke through the lines, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Broke through the lines and then I got slid in and then I remember I dinked the keeper. Dinked the keeper? Yeah. Magic. <laughs> I was one of them. This year, just breaking into 2020, uh, we noticed you uh, finally got a low move out to play some proper men's football. Yeah. Mac is full time. Yeah. Uh, we came down to watch you at Leighton Orient, uh, a new... Was that your debut? Yeah, that was my debut. Your debut. Funny, funny enough, your debut is... Uh, in your, yeah, in, exactly. In your heads, yeah. um, against Saint Laurent. Uh, how was that? How was that feeling? No, I was just proud because I've been waiting for a debut to get some experience on men's football. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just dream come true. The, 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 the stadium was full up that day as well. Yeah, right? it was very yeah. full. It was very, very full. <laughs> <laughs> it was very full. I was a bit nervous, I but, tell, but, <laughs> but then I got through it. SD didn't want to check on his shoulder. Don't look uh, cool. Um, take us through your first squad, Maxwell Town. Maxwell Town, that was against Plymouth. Okay. Um, I was playing up front this game on the left side, and um, I think the ball got slipped into me on my left side, and um, I managed to get my foot around it. Yeah. And got my first goal for Maxwell. So back to the bottom bins, or? Yeah. Little chip. Nice one. How did that feel? Uh, it's a good feeling. Good feeling. Isn't it? Yeah, man. Delighted with that. And hopefully from there I can just kick on. So w w one question I want to ask you, and, and one that a lot of the youngsters ask these days is stuff like, boys get knocked back from certain clubs that's when they go and try and stuff like that. Mm. What made you, obviously you said you stopped for a bit, what kicked you back in, Charlotte? What made you want to go back in and say, you know what, I can do this. I, I, I want to play football, I can be a footballer. I think at the time it was just family and friends around me yeah. was just telling me never give up. Yeah. And I uh, just make sure you be confident and just keep working hard. Make sure you're grafting, stay humble. Yeah. And your time will come. Time will come, So yeah. when your time comes, go grab it. You gotta grab it. Okay. And just don't stop. And um did you do any work in between your times off or like say prior to you going to FC or while you was at FC, was you doing any extra bits in between? Because I I've noticed one thing, you're very both footed that like your your left side's pretty much as strong as your right side, so mm. Um, I was just doing a bit of finishing drills. I was keeping fit, definitely keeping fit, but yeah. definitely doing some some finishing drills, dribbling, cave, like play football at the cage with my friends. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's about it. So what's the plan now, ST? What's the what's the next step for yourself um, in this football game? Hopefully, get another loan. Yeah. If not, then try to progress into the Tottenham first team. First team. Yeah. Firstly, anyways, but if not that, then take my career somewhere else and how, build off of that. How was your relationship with Poch? Um, yeah, no, he's a, I think he was a great manager. He likes the youngsters. Mm. He always has youngsters um, training up there with him. Yeah. And um, yeah. The Shiloh, um, back at Rugby, um, you obviously played under myself uh, in a school team. Uh, you was very, 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 very quiet. Uh, you, mate, you I can't <laughs> lie, I still get that. I still get you that barely, to this day. You barely said a word. <laughs> um, but on the pitch, I'll, I'll give you what, you, you was bloody damn effective, strong, mm. um, and, and, and got your job done. Why, why were you so quiet, mate? Was you shy? Was you just you as, as you know a person? What? 
To this day. It's gonna be. No, no, no. To this day, I just think it's just me in it. That's how I am. Mm. It's more humble, yeah. chilled, relaxed, laid back. Like I'm just not that loud person, so I just can't change that. But I'm trying to improve that. So <laughs> yeah. Have you have you seen that you in the men's game that they want you to probably be a bit more vocal, maybe even in the changing room or in the training field, let alone the pitch? Or do you think you can get away with? Yeah, being like. Quiet? In the, men's game. in the men's game you can't be quiet like when you need the ball so you need to really communicate yeah and like when it's a good time to receive the ball and um when to track players you need to communicate who's around you yeah so it's a bit more different to i'll say under 23s football okay so it's more vocals vocal talking <clears throat> and um more communicating how was your time at Newham District and um, SS County? You, always, you was obviously playing with really good players there. Mm. And some of them were playing at clubs, some of them haven't even gone past you, for example. Yeah. But at the time, because you, when you knew you was probably as good as them, how did that make you feel thinking, why am I, why have I not been given an opportunity to play at that level, knowing that I'm playing with this boy, he plays at this club, but I'm as good as him or probably mm. Well, I knew, yeah, at Newham District, I felt a bit weird because Everyone else was playing for academies. Yeah. And um, I think it was just me and another person. I can't remember who. But I think I was like one of the only ones who weren't playing. Academy football? Yeah, academy yeah. football. What, what, what's your message to the boys that are not playing academy football right now, but are surrounded with boys that are playing academy football? And obviously, you know how it is at school. Yeah, the status yeah, yeah. of academy football gives certain boys a certain limit. Yeah, exactly. And the boys that are not playing academy football, it probably sometimes mellows you down. Yeah. What's your, what, what's your shout out to them? to? How should they conduct themselves? Because now you, you you flipped the tables, mate. You weren't yeah. playing it, but now you're actually a pro footballer. So what's your message to them? How how should they deal with that scenario, that situation? I would say just stay humble, like no matter what, because your time will come. Yeah, the time if will you, come. If you carry on training, working hard, it could come in the next two years, yeah. next month. If it's not gonna happen now, it'll happen some sometime. Sometime. Yeah. So at, at late in the run, just going back, did you score any goals for, for them? Was you doing well? What position were they playing? Because I'm back at school, uh, he was like more of a central midfielder. I uh, lay in the yeah, I was playing midfield. Midfield, it? yeah. Midfield, um, holding, sometimes holding, sometimes attacking. And they even played me, I think, right back. Okay. Um, a couple times. But for Essex County, I was playing right back and right wing. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I weren't a fan of right back, but I think managers like playing me there sometimes. So was Lane in the only academy you went to during uh, as a schoolboy? Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. that was that was it. So, so you defied all odds because uh, obviously you know some clubs will look at a boy and think mm, he's only been at Lane Yeah, he's probably not good enough to come to Tottenham. It's too much of a job. But clearly you've obviously broken the rules, laid your own foundation, and gone in to Ipswich, Charlton, then obviously signed at Tottenham. Yeah, as a seventeen-year-old, as an eighteen-year-old, so yeah, great achievement. Shiloh, so can you give um, our young strikers who aspire to become strikers uh, two, three top tips that they might use in their day-to-day -day game training um, situations? One would be always stay on your toes. Always stay on your toes. In the box, especially yeah. in, the box. in the box. That's a great one, yeah. Always. I will say uh, never let your defender know where you are. Never let them, yeah. And um, I'll say always practice your weakest foot at all times because that that is three big top tips. So yeah. always stay on your toes in the box. Never let no never let your defender know where you are, and always work on your weaker foot. Yeah, yeah. You just never know which side of the exactly. going to come on your right side, left side, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Charlotte, thank you for coming on. Cheers, sir. Pleasure. And uh, see you soon, hopefully. Yeah.